Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to a new vlog today. I hope you're on a fantastic day. Thank you very much for taking your time out to come and click on the video and come and see what's been occurring in my little bubble of the world. Um, and today we're going to go to Harry Potter World, which is going to be the main centre focus of the vlog, um, which was pretty cool. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy it. It's a little bit of a highlight montage because um, I tried to vlog bits and try talking, but it was really loud and kids screaming. So most of the footage is is gonna be probably just muted and just a bit of music just warning for that but hopefully you do enjoy that little montage um and secondly it's some other little clips as well before and after harry potter world so sort of put a vlog together for you hopefully you do enjoy it sorry it's not one of them smooth kind of vlogs it's a little bit of mishmash bit here bit there um but hopefully you do enjoy enough of me let's roll into the vlog so the other day right I picked up the V's games because if you see here, I have got a game in shrine. Ignore the pack of crisps, but I've got a gaming collection here, and I am wanting to build this out. But there's one thing I am missing from this, right? Is old retro games which I used to play on the Xbox 360. So I'm looking to build like just like a stack of games just like that with an Xbox 360 controller on top of all the games I used to play. So I've got Assassin's Creed 2, Battlefield Bad Company 2, um, and Halo 3. So I'm just like trying to collect all like nostalgia games. I've got some underneath my bed, like I've got COD 4, Model 4 2, and I just want to create like just like a stack of games. So it's like, it's like, I don't know, like here with like a controller on top. So I'm just going to like use this as an example. So I just want to like have a controller on top, just something like that. Like obviously that'd be an Xbox 360 controller, which I have. But I just generally thought that'd be something cool to do because nostalgia, man. I think you gotta have a bit of nostalgia, like look at stuff and be like, oh man, that's like so good. So um, that's my little project I've got at the moment to go with the, my gaming collection at the moment. And the pack of the crisps is apparently part of the gaming collection as well. Honestly, the next month is going to be amazing, full of games. They've just tweeted out today, uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West has a gone gold. It's getting printed onto discs. There's no going back. They can't cancel it. Generally, there's so many good games, which is really, like, awesome. I love the fact there's so many good games coming out, like, this next, like, month. Like, we've got Pokemon coming out on Friday. We've got um, Dying Light 2. We've got uh, Horizon. Just so many good games in such a period of time, like a short period of time. I absolutely love it. So I'm quite excited for this next month of games. It's going to be so goddamn good. And ah, oh, it feels like it's been forever since we've had like a like a good like back to back of games coming out where it's like consistent as well. It just generally feels like it's been forever because normally you have that with like October, November. You know we have like a list bunk of games coming out, but. It's been a while so because of pandemic and that it's been everything's been delayed so it's like everything's coming out now so it's like this next month is gonna be so awesome so i've been messing around with more thumbnails i have in my spare time because i normally just do really basic ones but i was trying to think like how can i make my thumbnails kind of like have more depth to them and what i've started doing is is adding like these little borders around the edges and this is just an example i've just made this uh pokemon one um uh, and I really like it, and I've kind of like done the same with this one as well, like on the last vlog. Added like a bit of a border on it, give it a bit of a try, and it generally feels like it's got a bit more depth to it. And I really do like it, like I did it for this Slime Rancher one as well, just like, just like a little yellow border. It just feels like it gives it that little bit, I don't know what it is, I quite like it. I hope you guys are liking that change, because uh, it just makes it like overall just like way more nicer it does. Just like... Just nice. I'm very glad. I'm really proud of this thumbnail as well. So, there's been a little bit of improvement with the thumbnail. Because I've got people's opinions on it. And they were like, it could do with a bit of improvement. It was good, but it could be better. And this is the finished thing we've come up with. This thumbnail here. Got some feedback on it. Got a lot of thumbs up. So, very, very happy. So, we're going to try and work with thumbnails a bit more. Try and make the thumbnails a bit more appealing on the channel. So... Hopefully you do like them. Um and it's gonna be an ongoing thing and be just trying to be a bit more better, take a bit of time with them, I think. Cause I normally just like rush the thumbnails really, just like put anything together, put it up, um, and just put, try to think of a bit of a title in a way. Depends what I'm uploading really. Uh, if it's just like gameplays, I've always just done the same one, but I'm generally like now trying to get better at doing it. So it's gonna be a bit of a progress thing, so I'm quite intrigued to see where we go because 
I quite like that, and I'm intrigued to see where we go from this and see where we go, really.
you're a wizard, Harry. It's really quite surprising on how good Butterbeer was. Butterbeer. If you go to Harry Potter World, it's worth trying. I was expecting it to be like mouthwash, like it really tastes disgusting, but actually pretty goddamn good. And you get the cool keep this cool cup as well, which was pretty nice. I think it was like two pounds something, but it's a souvenir. You get to keep it, it says butterbeer on it. You can't really see it, but if I do this, it gets a bit more better. It's like a little butterbeer. Pretty goddamn good. It's really nice. It's like literally filled up to the top. And it's like a fizzy fizzy pop. It's not actually beer. Um, and you get a little bit of cream on top. And it was like, oh, so good. So goddamn good. And also as well, I got this cool little... Also as well, I got Harry Potter's wand. Which was pretty cool. I didn't realise his wand had like this little handle bit at the end. But yeah, I got a little wand. Wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like 60 quid for the ones because I, I, for some reason in my head, I thought they were way more expensive, but only 30 odd quid, which was pretty goddamn good. So I've got that add to the collection. I think you've got to get a wand because I went years ago to Harry Potter World and I didn't get a wand. Um, so I kind of regret it that I never did. Um, so I got one now. So I got it in my collection. So I kind of like. Aha, I've been to Harry Potter World. Um, so that's in my nice collection now. Um, so happy days with our happy days. Um, what else did I get as well? Pokemon. So what we've got here, we've got the game, which is pretty awesome. Pretty happy I got that. Um, Pre-order bonuses though. You've got this like little, little stand thing. And if you open it up, if I can uh, open it up. I didn't really know what it was at first, but stand the, the weight of it doesn't stand though that's the one thing like i thought it was gonna be a bit more secure but the weight of it doesn't stand so that's uh one thing but i don't mind um so you can store games in there like a little cottage like put your games in there which is pretty cool and uh, then once you're done put the lid down and ding 
Get a book horse now. Then get a little cool steel book as well. There we are. Look at that. Beautiful. I love myself a good steel book. And that is a very mighty one to add to the collection. All right, ladies and gents, hopefully you have enjoyed the vlog. I'm currently on my way back um, from being away for the weekend. Um, sorry, Harry Potter World wasn't like loads of like um, me talking to the camera and stuff like that because I was there with my other half um, and she doesn't really want to be in the vlog that much. You might see little glimpses of her, but I don't want to be like too much. Plus, it was like a Christmas present as well, so it was more like a day for her, but. I just thought I'd record like little highlights of the thing because some people might not, might not be able to go visit it, especially if you live outside the UK. Um, so sorry it wasn't too much of more like a highlight montage of Harry Potter World, um, which I think was a bit more better to be honest because it was just so loud, kids screaming, um, which you don't want. Um, so I've edited out all the screaming of kids because it was a Saturday it was, so there were so many kids screaming and just running around. Um, so luckily, I kind of am able to kind of just like not you don't have to hear that really um, but Harry Potter World was really 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 good um, if you haven't gone then I highly recommend it if you live in the UK or if you're planning a trip to the UK make it a thing it's like three hours of your day if you're in, like in London for the day um, or for a weekend or something like that go to Harry Potter World I think you've literally got to get I think you can get to it and there is a route online like telling you like how to get to Harry Potter World um, from central London um, but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it, and it was nice to kind of get away for a few days. Um, but we are on the way home now. We've got about 20 minutes left of my journey, so it's not too bad. So I'm kind of vlogging on an area which I know I've done this road so many times now, so I'm kind of comfortable with it, and the road's very quiet as well. So don't worry about me vlogging and stuff like that because the road's pretty quiet. So I'm able to concentrate to do both. Um, so hopefully you did enjoy Harry Potter World, it was really, really good fun. I particularly enjoyed it because I went back in 2013 um, and a lot has changed. Well, well quite a fair amount of things have changed. Um, even like the little things as well, like, there's not like a lot of big things, but it's quite a few like the smaller things, which is cool. Uh, so it's definitely like re worth revisiting if you went like five plus years ago, because there's quite a few new things, like you see in the vlog, like the train and stuff like that. It's pretty cool to go witness in person. Um, but no, I really did enjoy it. Quite surprising on how much I quite re, re enjoyed it. Is that a thing? Like, you re enjoy it? Um, that's a bit of a thing. That's a bit of a thing. Um, yeah, so I'm heading home now. Um, get to go home and play Pokemon now, which is fun. Because um, it, it arrived, it did on. What day did it arrive? It arrived on. Um, Friday before I went away. And I was literally leaving as the delivery man dropped it off. So get home install that i'm not sure if i've got to stream it yet or not um i should probably just chill out relax really because i've just had like a two hour drive back so probably chill out probably a bit chill sounds pretty good um but i probably do want to play very good so i might stream it i'm quite decided yeah i'm quite decided do you know you're doing that thing like i want to do one thing but i want to do the other i'm in that kind of mood at the minute i'm in that kind of mood really am um but no Honestly, it's so good to be kind of like having the mindset of like back vlogging now. So I generally have to think for like the things, oh, I'll vlog this or I'll vlog that. Um, hopefully, over like when we do more vlogs and stuff like that, I'll start finding a bit more of a groove with that. At the moment, it might feel a bit mishmash with like the little highlights of what's going on and stuff I want to show off. So I do apologize, it's a bit mishmash. People prefer like to have a story and stuff like that in like vlogs and stuff like that, but it's just little things going on and little talking segments like this, uh, which I am. I try to drive on my own, so it gives me time to kind of, while I'm driving, while I'm bored really, because it can get a bit repetitive driving, because I've, I've just started feeling a bit drowsy last like, the last, last like 20 minutes of the journey. So I'm like, you know what, put the vlog on, get my brain thinking, because um, I'm sick of listening to music as well, because I feel like my playlist I've completed about 5,000 times because I've done so much driving because I drove to Harry, I drove up, drove to Harry Potter while I drove back and I've been listening to the same music the last like few few days. I'm just like, I'm so music out now. I'm just like, uh. Um, so, I should have to get into podcasts really. I have to have some podcasts I need to listen to it, but I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered. Um, yeah, so as I was just saying with the vlog, I do apologise if it was a bit mishmash and like all over the place and stuff like that. Um, 
will hopefully get um, a bit more structured with it and you probably might find a bit more understanding. I don't really have a set schedule, like it's going to be every few weeks, depends on how much footage I get really. Um, um, and cool things I got up to. I haven't got much things going on over the next few weeks at the moment. I've been going away. Um, adventure wise, I've got nothing up the sleeves at the moment. Um, I'm trying to plan some sort of things. Um, hold on one second. Do I need to switch over here? I might need to move over here. So I've changed lanes. Got to do that when you got to do it. And I sat now on, so I'm looking at signs now. I'm gonna look at signs! Yeah, I'm alright, yeah, don't wanna come off. Don't wanna go down that way, no, 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 don't do that, no, 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 no. We wanna stick on this road. This is the road we want. This is the going home road, this one. We wanna go home. I do fancy a McDonald's. I do fancy a McDonald's. But... No, 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 no. No Mackey Deans, no Mackey Deans. No, 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 no. Um, what was I saying though? Um, yeah, I haven't got much adventures going on over the next few weeks, so old oh, months at the minute. I've got nothing in the pipelines at the minute. I'm trying to plan a game event, um, but I'm not sure at the moment because EGX just got cancelled. It got cancelled this weekend, so obviously by the time this vlog's out, it might be a week or two down the line. So two weeks ago, maybe, whenever this vlog came out. Um, EGX got cancelled, so I'm having to like rethink about oh, Birmingham, Birmingham. Um, that got cancelled, and I'm like, I don't really. I think COVID's still a bit of a sensitive thing at the minute, and still did it was like raw. You're like, it still needs a bit of time to settle. So like, it feels like it calms down, but it's up to peak back up. It feels like that with COVID at the minute, so I'm a bit like, oh. Don't know really at the moment. So I did. We will try and do some adventures. This is the one thing I do want to do with the vlogs, and it's going to push me to like do some stuff because um, it makes fun content and no things for me to show off. Um, maybe to do some like other things as well. Um, but adventure-wise, it's hard to plan stuff at the minute. It really, really is because it's just like we don't know what COVID is going to be like in next week or anything like that. It really is. So hopefully I will have some like adventures, like I might go somewhere at some point over the summer. Um, so you will just have to be patient with me, um, and whenever we do, um, some vlog content for you, some vlog content. Um, so that's going to be exciting for vlogs. Uh, but secondly, I do want to add as well, the channel, um, we are uploading some other videos as well and stuff like that. Um, so like other gameplays are coming, like the Slime Launch has been coming out recently, hopefully you have been enjoying it enjoying that um, and we've got some other games as well in the pipeline just trying to play a bit more other games really on stream and stuff like that so this is a bit of a stream segment now where we chat stream stream um, have you guys heard of Prime Gaming <laughs> you get free GTA money if you haven't got uh, Prime Gaming I know a lot of you play probably GTA so why not redeem it and you to 30 day free sub on me twitch.tv forward slash game TMT alright um, yeah so just um yeah, so just trying out other games though, because I've got the really style of multiplayer games I have, and I just feel like multiplayer games just don't have the same engagements as they do, so it makes it a little bit meh to play. So, oh, we are close to home now, I know where I am. Ooh, it's waiting. I'll slow down, because I, I always see it in the back of my mirror, right? This is a bit of a talking off point here. When you just see a car bombing up, he's like, mate, I'm not even gonna bother competing with you, because you just look like a dickhead. Literally are. Literally are. You can see it from a mile away. Um, yeah, so streams, we're playing a bit more variety of games a little bit, um, which are coming up on the YouTube channel. Um, and especially with thumbnails as well, because that started a video of the vlog. I was talking a little bit about thumbnails, so hopefully you are enjoying the new thumbnails, which are getting uploaded a bit. Um, it's a bit always hard to say because I'm speaking to the future, so I don't know what game we're going to be uploading and stuff like that. So. But we're trying to do the thumbnails, we're trying to do the thumbnails a bit more. We are. Um, but I am going to start wrapping up now because I'm nearly home now and I've been rambling for like nearly 10 minutes out here. Um, basically, wrapping up this vlog. 
Um, like I say, apologise about Harry Potter World. It wasn't a bit too much like interacting with you guys because it was the other half's more birthday Christmas present. So I didn't want to be there and like I say, screaming kids. Do you really want screaming kids and me trying to talk in like, it, it was a bit too much. Um, if I went during a week, maybe it would be a bit more quieter, but to be honest, it was quite surprising on how busy it was there. It was really busy, especially when it's Saturday, kids out of school and that, so yeah, a bit crazy, crazy, crazy. But thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the vlog, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.